Hello. Today I'm going to talk to you about emotional intelligence and NLP. It's something I quite often get asked. What is the connection between EQ and NLP? And there's lots of ways that they're connected. But let's start by talking about what we mean by emotional intelligence. So the idea of EQ or emotional quotient, <coughs> a way of measuring how emotionally intelligent somebody is, was first put forward by Daniel Goleman in the early 90s, I believe. And this was the first time really that anybody had paid attention to something other than intelligence as being an indicator of how successful somebody might be in life and in work. And the idea of emotional intelligence was that people who have this, people who are good at understanding emotions, often are in fact more intelligent in many other ways uh, than people who have what we traditionally think of as intelligence. Let me explain a bit more. Emotional intelligence has been defined as the ability to spot emotions in yourself and other people and understand what they are. It also then includes how you react to those emotions, how you respond in the presence, presence of either your own or somebody else's emotions, and how well you succeed in managing a situation that has a kind of emotional dimension to it. Now clearly, this is something that doesn't happen by accident. It's something that is a result of the way that we pay attention to each other and the way we pay attention to ourselves. So it's easy to see why it's defined as a kind of intelligence that's very different from what we normally think of in terms of uh, mathematical or linguistic intelligence that's just about making sense of things and knowing information. <coughs> so often people have said to me, as I earlier said, what is the connection then between NLP and emotional intelligence? Because they're both about interacting with other people and they're about self-awareness and so on. So is there an overlap? And I believe there is. I think actually they're kind of two different sides of the same thing because with emotional intelligence, what we're looking at is how good is somebody at managing the emotional factors in some kind of interaction. With NLP, what we're tending to look at is how are they actually doing that? So I think that if you're interested in raising your emotional intelligence, then learning some NLP might be one of the ways that you can do that. Because the more that you understand about the way that people interact with each other and the habits and patterns that form in our conversations and the way that we behave around other people, the more you understand about that, the easier it is then to make a good choice from all the ranges of options that you have about how you react to people. It's easy to make a good choice and pick something that you're going to do or say that will get you a favourable response from another person. Now, some years ago, I came to this conclusion that if EQ is something that's desirable to learn, then NLP was one way of developing those skills. And one group of NLP practitioners that I taught, I asked them all to take an emotional intelligence quiz at the beginning of the program and then to do it again at the end. Now, highly unscientific, it's not a huge sample of data, it's not what anybody would regard as statistically significant. But in that small group of people, what I saw was a 20% increase in the score that they got on the intelli emotional intelligence quiz as a result of having done the NLP practitioner training. Now, of course, as with all of these kinds of things, the quiz was based on self-assessment. So, if you just spent 20 days of your life, okay, spread out over several months, but if you'd just done that and invested a lot of time and energy in learning a set of skills, you probably would be highly conscious of them and very confident that they were making a difference. So it could be that the fact that people had undertaken the training simply skewed their uh, perception of how skilled they were at dealing with other people. But I like to think that there's a little more to it than that. Because I think that if you learn how to make sense of other people's behaviour and emotions and you become more aware of your own, then you can't really help but become more emotionally intelligent. And that, I think, is the connection between EQ and NLP.